What's up YouTube, it's your boy Carvins Reg and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about what to look for in a used car. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real simple. Should be a short video, but a lot of information. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and watch all my other videos. Go ahead and leave me a like on all my videos. Comment, comment on this video when you when you watch all the videos and say done. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Just be just be a lit supporter, you know what I'm saying? Um but let's get into the video the number one thing that you need to look out for in a used car is you need to pop open the hood and look at the engine make sure that there's no leaks nothing underneath the engine is leaking make sure you don't smell nothing uh burning uh make sure the belts are kept good you know maintain that it's not worn out or anything make sure just make sure uh make sure everything but yeah and then make sure you know turn the engine make sure it's running properly make sure you don't hear no knocking noise and stuff like that and then you should be a-okay the second thing when you're test driving the car make sure the gears are shifting correctly and this is how you'll know smash on the car i'm talking about put your foot onto the metal and smash that motherfucker put it all the way to the uh, floor Let's see if it's shifting properly. If it's shifting smooth, then that's what you want. But if you hear, if you see, if you like a lag, or if it's not shifting properly, or you hear hard clunk noise when it's shifting, not it, buddy. Take that motherfucker back immediately. I don't want the car. So yeah, do that. And another way how you can shift the gear, I mean, how you can test out the transmission light in this Infinity G37, I have a, um, I have manual mode. So with manual mode, I could switch each gear, you know, with it. So do that also by smashing on it and also take it easy. And then, you know, while you're driving subtle, just go ahead and do it. And then it'll tell you which gear is bad pretty much. Like um, this car has seven, um, seven gears. So you, the first four gears may be fine, but five, six, and seven might be fucked up. But you won't know that until you, you know, play with it a little bit. So make sure you do that. The third thing, the most important thing to show if a car was properly maintained or if the or if the person kept up the car is to make sure to look inside the interior. If you see any ripped leather, um, the carpet got stains. Um, this is stained. Um, everything's all scratched up. Everything looked beat up. Then most of the time, they beat up that car. So uh, for me. If I was buying a car off the street, I wouldn't want that car because I know what type of person they are. They don't give, they don't care about the car. They don't care about the car at all. So that would be something that you should walk away from. Um, um, now, some older cars out there, like if it's a 20, 30 year old car, um, you know, everything is not going to be perfect. But the main thing is that you know from your own judgment if it looks good for that age of the car, pretty much, right? So let's say, for instance, like this car was a 2012. If I seen a big slit through this uh, seat, or I see a big slit through that seat, or everything is scratched up, or I see a whole bunch of stains on the roof, I wouldn't bought the car because I, it shows what type of person owned this car. The person didn't care about the car. So if the person don't care about the interior, why would they care about the engine? See what I'm saying? So you want to stay away from that type of stuff. So yeah, that's like the third thing. Just Make sure the interior is good, y'all. Make sure the interior is good. Number four, the paint. Walk around and look at the paint. Like I said, this goes for the same thing with the interior, right? The person who keeps up the car the most are the people who are most likely to maintain the car properly. They care about the car. If the paint is all chipped up, um, it's starting to fade, Let's say it's a 2015 and it's a black car and it's fading already or the paint just looks horrible. Then, you know, you got to walk away from the car. It's not a good car. They haven't maintained the car properly. You know what I'm saying? So look at the paint. Make sure, you know, the paint is flawless for whatever year it is. Now, now like I said, if the car is 20, 30 years old, you know, the paint is not going to be perfect. If it's faded, that's okay. But is the uh is the bumper hanging off uh is the back bumper hanging off um do you got a whole bunch of dents everywhere then obviously you know it's, it's not a it's not a good car you know what i'm saying so you're gonna have to just pass up on that car 
But yeah, y'all, this is just gonna be a little quick little video. So if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe right now. Go ahead and leave me a huge like. Go ahead and comment um, some more things that I should have added or whatever. And let me know what you think about the video. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one.